Hello lovelies. You know, it's been a while since we did an unboxing and I thought, well, hey, why not do one today? So I have this box full of goodies from Luchi Yarn and we are going to see what's inside. Super excited. I think I know what it is, but let's find out together. Yeah. Oh, look at this. It is Angora. So those of you who don't know, Angora comes from Angora bunnies, which is different from mohair that comes from Angora goats. So what we have is we have this amazing, beautiful, like Cabernet color. So this is like a wine color. What is she calling it? Uh, she's calling it raspberry. So raspberry. And it looks like we have 10 hanks of raspberry. You know, I got this light stand thing. Um, and so if it rocks a little bit, that's my fault. Okay. And we have also 10 hanks of turquoise. Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen turquoise in Gora. So this is going to be some blue bubble. Oh, and, and it should go without saying that Angora is insanely warm. Oh my gosh, and it's so soft. And we say made from bunnies. Literally, it feels like bunnies. Oh, so lovely. And uh, it looks like it's a worsted, maybe a DK, maybe a DK. Uh, so you can knit or crochet or weave with this by itself, or you can hold it together with another yarn to add extra softness. So these are 10 gram hanks and you get 33 yards, 100% Angora, and she's calling this one Aqua. So I will put these up on the website. Oh, look at this fun stuff. Okay, this is fun. So this is this Luca tape and she had asked me, she, the owner of Luchi Yarns, um, had asked me if I wanted a party pack or like a mixed bag of Luca tape. And I said, sure. So she sent it to me and look how fun this is. <gasps> it's a party and a skein. So these are really cool, these Luca tape hanks. So the Luca tape yarn, it is 50% viscose, 35% cotton and 15% polyester. Each hank is 110 yards. And she's saying three and a half stitches per inch. So it rates as a bulky and she's recommending you use a size 11 needle. Um, I have a really nice chevron pattern that works with this. Also, I did uh, at one point, um, let me go grab it. I made a cowl that's got some silk ribbon drips on it, which is kind of fun. Here we go. Which of course now I'm selling my sample, but okay, so. Here we go. I know, only 50 bucks. So this is this cowl, and then I tied some silk ribbon to the bottom. And this is the back of the cowl. Maybe we can get the, here we go. Okay, so for the Luca tape, here is this cowl that I made. So you can see, so here's the front. Isn't that cool? So it's like three different yarns, and then I put the, as discussed, the hand dyed sorry silk ribbon on it. So here is the front. And so what this is, it's really a, it's a triangular shawl that got sewn together and then I put fringe along the hem where I sewed it together. See where I put the join, kind of where it goes at like a diagonal. So I thought that was kind of fun. So makes it like a party and then it looks really cool. So yeah, so then it kind of hangs down and so look, see, Oh, so it looks kind of fun. <sighs> okay, so let's see what else is in our fun box. Okay, so here is one of the colors of the Luca tape. I got two sample packs, which means we get like two skeins of each of these fun different colorways. And so the three strands in each skein like some people in the past have like gotten one of these and then if they don't have us wind it here, they try to take the three strands apart and like, don't do that. <laughs> Cause that'll just lead to tears. So it's this flat cotton tape. So you get the three strands are, sorry, you get a flat cotton tape and then you get like this cool nubbly textured two ply. 
which looks like a cotton rayon. And then the third one is like this poly blend with sequins. So your single strand is actually all three of these strands held together. So, and that's what makes it fun and glitzy. So then while you're knitting or crocheting, you then hold all three strands together. So let's see the colors that we have. Whoops. Let's see the colors that we have are this pretty orange. And then we also have an all white kind of bridal. So here's an all white one. And then this is sort of like a party mix. We've got like this gold and then one of the slubs looks like it's a multi with like purple and green and gold. And then the strand with the sequins. It's a black strand with a gold sequin. That's kind of cool. And they also have this one, which is mostly purples and blacks. Look at that. And then, sorry, I keep nudging the thing. So makes it rock. Sorry about that. And then this pretty baby, this is like iridescent sequins with this beautiful creamy color. And also, oh, look at this raspberry with pink. So fun. Um, and then, so this was called Black Cherry Beet Pink. I could just read the names on the label. <laughs> um, so the peachy one, this one is actually, what is this? Fisherman, Fisherman Peach. And then this one is Oriental Rug Beet and Toast. Look how pretty that is. So I guess the beet is the, the dark red violet, like this must be beet like a beat. And then there's this fun Halloweeny looking one, which is called Purple Ring Anti Gold and Celery. But I think it looks very Halloweeny. I think it's super fun. So if you are a planner ahead, then, and you're thinking about next year's Halloween costume because some of us just love Halloween and can't stop thinking about Halloween. This would be a great Halloween. And look, you could pair it with this. Although this one also looks really dressy because it's like that shiny black with the gold sequins. That's really nice. And then also, then there's this fun one that's beachy colors. And the beachy colored one is, um, rainbow fisherman and silver white so s rainbow i'm not sure what the s is for but it's beautiful colorway maybe shiny rainbow silvery rainbow this is really nice and so and then i have a pack of all the same colors so duplicate pack so we've got two of each of those and um after the phone rang our mail carrier in and we have a box of extra yarn from our friend Kim at Kim Dye's Yarn. Okay, so now we're gonna open this box from our friend Kim at Kim Dye's Yarn since it is a trunk show augmentation box. Ooh, how pretty is this? This is a box full of DK yarn, her Stroop Waffle DK. Look at that. So this colorway is Bramble Flowers. And as a reminder, the Stroop Waffle DK is 55% Superwash Blue Face Luster and 45% Silk. Each 100 gram hank is 231 yards. And we have them on our website, lovelyyarns.com forward slash Kim Guys Yarn at 35 a hank. So this is Bramble Flowers. Look how pretty. Love it. Okay, and then next color is, I've got two of these one of a kind, which are like these really pretty pink. Look at that, sort of rosy pink. And it looks like it's got a little bit of a navy blue speckle on it. And so I've got two of those. Oh, and then we've got six of Solitude. Let's see if I can get them all on one. Here's four. Five, six, six of solitude. This is very pretty, pale, lilac y color. Loving it. And then, what else? Is there only two of these? So it looks like there's two. Oh, this is her colorway of the month, which is called 
Thistle, and this is from March. Kim does like a, she's got a colorway of the month club. This is the March 2022 colorway. Uh, it's really pretty. So let's get that nice and close so you can see it. Sort of like a plain base, and it looks like it's got like um, purple and green and a little bit of like pale orange speckle on there. I'm seeing a little bit of like aqua teal too. That's super nice. And what else? Oh, look at these. And this is Magnolia. There's four, there are five of them, five Magnolias. That's like enough for a sweater. Hello, sweater makers. So Magnolia is really, really pretty. So it's like the creamy, natural, undyed white, and then um, shades of pink and rose and purple. It's just really, really pretty, really pretty. So here's Magnolia, five of those. And of course we will add them to the website. Oh, and next we've got Bold Blooms. This is pretty too. I mean, like they're all pretty, like Kim does not do a bad color. Love this, it's sort of like a black gray. And then it's got like this dark foresty green with some, um, bright red violet and a little bit of blue violet on here. This is a great colorway. So two of them, people always ask, what do you do with two skeins? You can do a hat and mittens. You can make leg warmers. You can make a pair of super luxurious at home socks. Um, I guess you could do like a hat and a cowl or you could do a big long cowl or you could also do a full size shawl. And then next we have speckled robin's egg, which also we have right now in the sourdough sock. So let's get these nice and So the speckled robin's egg, sort of like this pale blue green, pale robin's egg blue with a little bit of brown speckle. And that is just lovely, lovely stuff. Look how pretty it is. And there's three of those. So that is cowl hat and mittens. Or if you crochet, maybe it's a cowl and a hat. Uh, crochet does eat up a little bit more yarn than other types then it is a little bit more yarn than knitting does but not by a ton but by enough that um i usually recommend get an extra skein unless i know that it's definitely like a one skein project because there are plenty of one skein projects with crochet and last but not least we have a restock of walnut because whoops <laughs> a restock of wall a restock of walnut by a popular demand because we sold out so fast and it's such a dreamy colorway. And we will have four of these. Um, so that is the end of our unboxing. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. These were a special order for one of our lovelies. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And happy stitching. Oh, oh, one more thing, one more thing. It is January. This is our Happy Hooker Happening Month. It is our month long celebration of all the crochet, our speedy in store speediest co stitcher competition, in store speediest stitcher competition it is Wednesday the 18th. It is sponsored by our friends at Cascade Yarns. And I am super excited. It's going to be at 7 30 PM. If you are local to our shop here in Baltimore, please come. It is five bucks for admission. And if you are not local to Baltimore, but you would like to participate in our Happy Hooker happening, it is $5 to participate. There is a link on our homepage to take you to our Happy Hooker happening page on our website where you can sign up, pay your admission fee, and you can either mail your submission or you can uh, email us photos of your finished work that you would like to submit for entry to lovelyyarns at gmail.com. Lovely Yarns is all one word, one Y, L-O-V-E-L-Y-A-R-N-S at gmail.com. I'd love to have you participate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and happy stitching.